Pictures like these of brave Tommies leaving their trenches and going over the top have become ingrained in our national psyche. So too have the terrible statistics associated with them, the tens of thousands killed in just hours in some battles, the millions to die during the whole conflict. But as the centenary approaches and all veterans of the First World War have died, individuals have become lost in our collective revulsion at such loss of life. But the individual stories of the Great War are about to be reclaimed. This is the National Archive at Kew in South London. Inside, box after box, shelf after shelf, containing war diary records from the 1418 conflict. There are 1.5 million individual pages here. Now a fifth of them have been digitised and put onto the internet. National Archives curator and Royal Navy Falklands veteran William Spencer explains their significance. In field service regulations of 1909, so pre-First World War, the British Army laid down that all units going on operations should keep a day-to-day -day count of activities of that unit. So where they served, what they were doing, uh, mentioned a lot of people. Now, of course, there are two reasons for that. Yes, to see what a regiment was doing, also to see what they could learn from those experiences, but also as a source of information for the official histories which were written and published uh, from the 20s until the mid-40s, so until just after the, the Second World War. The records really are fascinating and it's a privilege to be able to hold them and just look through what was written down on a day-by-day -day basis. This belongs to 12th Lancers and it's August 1914. 16th of August, the regiment left Norwich to the front. It's all written in a very matter-of-fact way. The 23rd of August, near Holchin in France, Major Bailey shot himself in the leg by accident. Just the events that happened on each day as they happened and then we move on as the fighting gets worse and worse. All day to the north in the vicinity of Mons, a great big battle was raging in the casualty figures. Killed one man, wounded Lieutenant Nicholson and three men. And so it goes on and the numbers keep increasing. War diaries are not exclusive to the First World War. They're still produced today. The British Army are still creating unit records, unit war diaries on operations. They did in the Second World War, they did in Korea, they did in the Falklands, they did in Northern Ireland, they're doing in, in Afghanistan, and they, they did in Iraq. So when we've eventually digitised the whole thing, you will be able to look, at, say, 100 years down the line, at the diaries, the unit war diaries for the British Army's participation in the Third Afghan War and what's been going on in Afghanistan for the last decade. With this information now online and more being digitised all the time, it's hoped people will learn about the individual units and personnel involved in the First World War, even their family members, and open up the past. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Q.